A conference date set has been the challenge that the firearms industry brought against a law the Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker signed, allowing for the state attorney general and anybody really to go after the firearms industry to hold them liable for a variety of things. Well, that law is challenged in the courts, and we've got a date set for a status conference. And we'll get to that here, plus touch on some other issues popping up in the space of litigation against gun laws in the state of Illinois. I'm Greg Bishop. It's Bishop on Air. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Monday morning. Uh, follow along. You can find me on X. Just search Bishop on Air. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube and Rumble and Instagram. I'm not really active on the Instagram, but uh, if you want to follow me there, you can. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, of course, we've been tracking the latest in litigation against the gun ban with the Southern District of Illinois Federal Courts having a bench trial uh, sometime in September. So still months away. Uh, and I know that somebody had asked about uh, the gun ban registration which if you go to the Illinois State Police website uh, for their FOID statistics, you can see yourself. They have not updated those statistics since January 31st. And uh, I did get one update via email that added maybe a, a couple of thousand onto that total. But still, I mean, you're looking at uh, under 40,000 uh, individuals completing an affidavit uh, saying that they have a banned firearm. Uh, so haven't really seen an update there. Uh, we'll obviously uh, check that as uh, as it warrants. But I mean, the deadline to register was December 31st. Uh, so regardless, uh, the challenge against Illinois gun ban uh, in the Southern District, like I said, September, I think, 16th, you have a uh, uh, a date for the trial, uh, the bench trial to take place. But you also have the U.S. Supreme Court that could release orders today impacting Illinois' gun ban challenges. Because it's not just one, there's multiple challenges. And the U.S. Supreme Court uh, will be issuing an order list at 9.30 this morning. Uh, well, that's 8.30 our time. So uh, we'll actually uh, be checking this later on. Uh, and refreshing this page and maybe some of you can have eyes on it as well uh, and uh, let us know but uh, that's the latest on the the challenge of the gun ban but what about that firearm industry liability law uh, this was filed back uh, after the the governor signed the law last summer uh, if you recall, they talked about the importance of allowing the state to go after bad actors in the firearms industry, uh, ultimately saying that uh, there needs to be, uh, you know, somebody held responsible. Uh, the law itself says that the firearms industry uh, can be held responsible for uh, allegedly making the community less safe with their uh, firearms. Uh, you can also um, uh, get sued if you're advertising to children or if you're doing some kind Kind of uh, advertising focused on uh, illegal paramilitary or militia activities uh, and that's uh, you know questions of First Amendment rights uh, and when it comes to the firearms industry maybe sponsoring a scouting you know uh, uh, shooting practice or a range day or something like that well how do you, are you gonna cross a line there and get sued uh, so the firearms industry obviously uh, brought that lawsuit and brought that lawsuit a while back uh, but now we've got uh, an update here, and this was posted on the docket for this case, a telephonic scheduling conference set for July 22nd, so next month. Uh, it's going to be for uh, Stacey Yandel, the judge down there, uh, and you've got the instructions and such, so we'll obviously see how uh, that plays out with a scheduling conference. So that's July 22nd, but if you look at the Cook County uh, court docket for the lawsuit that Chicago brought against uh, the Glock, uh, you'll see that, uh, you know, this was filed back in March. Uh, they're challenging Glock, uh, trying to hold them responsible for the Glock switches when Glock doesn't make these switches, but uh, people are getting their hands on uh, aftermarket parts and essentially turning their uh, Glock pistol into a fully automatic pistol. Uh, and uh, Chicago uh, is saying that they've seen an increase of this and they are trying to hold Glock responsible for that what's interesting is the firearm liability law lawsuit uh the, the the state said hey there's been no injury here when that suit was filed and it's been held up with motions going back and forth but then chicago sued glock and the firearms industry says well wait a second look at this uh chicago suing glock 
there's clearly uh, they claim an injury now. So they're moving forward. Uh, and if you look at uh, the, the Cook County case here in the docket, and we'll just pull this up so we can uh, search this. Uh, and the uh, the case number is uh, 2024 CH02216. Uh, so we'll go to um, Civil Law and Chancery. Uh, we'll see if we can pull this up so we can get the latest uh, in as far as the uh, the actual case number and pop that in, give it a search. Uh, and you can see that uh, it as well has a scheduling conference set for next month on the 17th. All right. So this is a uh, case management and uh, the case is going to be, you know, brought forward and they're going to discuss what's going on with the next step. So you've got uh, a couple of interesting dates coming up next month for the challenge against the state's firearm industry liability law, uh, but also uh, the challenge of uh, Chicago suing Glock over uh, switches uh, and where that's going to proceed in state courts. Uh, all of this uh, coming to a head uh, as uh, more and more you've got uh, uh, questions about whether or not these types of lawsuits are even uh, allowable, uh, but we'll do what we can to track that. Uh, so uh, two big items there again with the firearm industry liability lawsuit uh, hearings coming up on the 22nd in the, I believe that's the Southern District of Illinois Federal Court, and then in the Glock lawsuit, uh, you've got a, a, a case management hearing set for July 17th. Uh, so we'll put those dates on our calendar and see what we can do to keep you updated there. All right, uh, some of the latest here with uh, litigation concerning uh, gun laws. And uh, obviously, uh, we're going to do what we can to keep you updated on whether or not uh, the U.S. Supreme Court takes up the uh, challenges against Illinois' gun ban on a preliminary basis. All right, so we'll uh, touch on that some more as well. It is Bishop on Air. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, all right?